And let's make all the dudes criminals mm -hmm. and all the women hoes. Mm -hmm. Right. Why are you just strictly so bent on this is all you want our young kids to hear? You know why. Exactly. So that's why I say it's no conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, it's you. right in front of our face. Why ain't I see you around back when I was down? You made an interesting statement that I want to uh, just kind of see if you can elaborate on. You said that you, you, <clears throat> I know you had said somewhere, I think it was on your podcast that there was a big meeting, you know, mm -hmm. for the, with the record labels in yeah. terms of to, you know, and, and, and basically the record labels and the owners of the prisons are in cahoots. Mm -hmm. They're the same people. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. you really believe that's oh, a yeah. thing? Man, you, man <clears throat> yes, it could be. There's a lot of big corporations that have ownership in prisons. It's, mm -hmm. it's rich yes. black people that got ownership in prisons. Right. They just don't go around bragging about it. That's, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. one big move they don't go around bragging about. Mm -hmm. You know, bro, that, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's no secret, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like. So you feel as if basically the, they own the prisons and they're using the music to market, you know, basically you know, niggas yeah. to do what they do exactly. and get locked up. It has to, it has to be a reason why First of all, hip hop has been the dominant music yep. genre for decades. Now. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So knowing that this is knowing that this has, you know, the influence, the mm -hmm. influence, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, that's, that's, that's the music we need to focus on. Mm -hmm. Hip hop became popular and, and because, you know what I'm saying? It was the main music. Mm -hmm. Bigger than country music. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> this is what we're going to, if this is what got the kids, that's what we yeah. want. Hollywood is a branch of the government, by the way. The CIA does fund movies as well. So it's not yeah. far-fetched to believe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like so like, I mean, man, man it's, I mean, it, it's all control. Like, bro, like, we can go. To, that particular <laughs> yeah. episode right there yeah. is, like to me, it's not so much conspiracy because it's like they do it in front of our face. Okay, mm -hmm. so it ain't even conspiracy. This is no, it's, this is what no, it is. No, yeah. no, we 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 see, man. Why 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 do every artist always complain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How come every black buyout movie you see mm -hmm. starts good, ends bad? Right, right. <laughs> every last one of them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Every last one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's crazy. Wow. Everybody got the same story. Yeah, you know? like yeah. it's 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 wild. So it's like that speaks for itself. With you being so deep in the game and being so accomplished, you know, being that you are part of a huge group and a huge artist. I mean, you, you know, you'll go down in history as one of the most accomplished rap groups. Um, yeah. Have you ever been approached by any weird shit in 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 the music industry or in terms of that, like them trying to get y'all to yeah say this, do that, you know, bro? The, uh, you know what I'm saying, like. What I tell people, you know what I'm saying, as far as music, I tell people this, you know what I'm saying, like, we didn't come out like like trying to glorify violence or none of that. We, we were led to believe this is your chance to tell your story. Right. They the ones with the cameras, they the ones glorified it. Mm -hmm. They the ones put it on TV and did this and did that, you know what I'm saying, put it in front of them like, you know what I'm saying? And we were fools because we played into it. You know what I'm saying? Like not knowing that there was they were they were gonna use it to right. to kind of entrap exactly. exactly. Yeah. the people coming from right. you know like, like, right. you know what I'm saying? So so it is it's it's crazy though. It, it's yeah. like a lesson learned. But <laughs> it's crazy because it's like the lesson ain't being learned. <laughs> right, right. You know what? I think it's something to that too, bro. Cause if you go back to like our generation, mm -hmm. see, in our generation, we had balance. Mm -hmm. So we had N.W.A., we had the gangster shit, but then we also had X-Clan. We had mm -hmm. Public Enemy, we had KRS-One. KRS exactly. Uh, even when you go to the females, you know, we mm -hmm. had Choice, mm -hmm. we had uh, uh, H.W.A., but then mm -hmm. we also had Queen Latifah, you had MC Light. Mm -hmm. Now, exactly. it's all one way. All uh, one way, It's just bro. one way. So, I think what you're saying is kind of, we're seeing it, like you say, is right in our... In our man, yeah, it, it, man, it's crazy because it's kind of like, okay, let's make all the dudes criminals mm -hmm. and all the women hoes. Mm -hmm. Right. Criminals are gay. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, and it's, and, it's, and it's crazy. It's like, 
and I seen something the other day. It's like, bro, bro, it, it's it's just wild. Like just the just the agendas they push and mm-hmm. just like like there 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 is more than one kind of uh, genre of hip hop within hip hop. Exactly, it's not just what you hear right. on the radio. That's right. It's talented young people that's very talented. This like kind of forced to change who they are mm-hmm. just to get into the just industry. Just to get in, yep. And then when they get into it, they got to stay that gotta way. Got to stay that way, yeah. Because if you try to switch it up, yeah, you're done. you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. so, it's it's like everybody is being forced to sound, look, mm-hmm. act, talk, dress mm-hmm. the same. That's right. That's right. It's not a lot of uh, it's not a lot of variety. It's a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But it's not a lot of like, you know, like different styles. Yeah. It's it's you gotta shuffle through the fuck. It's some out there though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta shuffle through a lot. Yeah. See, in our day, you couldn't do that. You was biting. You know what I mean? Exactly. You was yeah. biting. That's like what you it didn't want to sound was... like nobody. Even if you were in the arena of somebody like, okay, excuse me. Like if you go with y'all, but then you got crucial conflict, you got do or die, you had three six, but even still. Mm-hmm. It's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you know what you're listening to, then you know it's different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Twister is different from a bone. A bone is different from a tech nine. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, and, um, and, and, and man, like, again, you know what I'm saying? If that's what they want to do, mm-hmm. that's cool. Right. But why are they playing hip hop like that's the only form of hip hop it is? They don't do R&B like that. Mm-hmm. They don't do mm-hmm. no other genre like that. Why are you just strictly so bent on this is all you want our young kids to hear. You know why. It's exactly. Influence. So that's why I say it's no conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, it's you. right in front of our face. Mm-hmm. It's right there. Mm-hmm. We just got to look at it like for real. So so segue and kind of coming from that. And and again, I'm going to put my fan hat on. So what what were your musical uh, influences growing up? Man, man, just like. All of them, man. Back in the eighties, well, well, what what made me get into hip hop was LL Cool J. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Um, Which album? Radio. Radio. Okay. Yeah, my brother came home one day with the uh, with the tape, and he, yeah, I was sitting on the couch. He was like, "You don't know nothing about this," and I was like, "Put it in the tape deck." Never took it out. Yeah. <laughs> Never took it out, man. And and, and I I, want, I wanted to learn how to um, I wanted to learn the lyrics to the songs, mm-hmm. so I started writing the lyrics down. And as I was writing down his lyrics, I saw the blueprint on how to write a rhyme. So mm. I wrote my own rhyme and I never stopped from that day. Wow. Never stopped. You wow. Know what I'm like so, so LL taught you song structure. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's definitely. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So what's your favorite LL album? Just real quick. Man, it's man. You can only pick one. Man, that boy. It can man. only be one. Okay, hold <laughs> on. Uh, I have to say, um, Man, that's a cold question. Right there, <laughs> that's a cold one, cause man, but, but but I have to say, radio for the simple fact, um, the song like "You yeah. Rock," yeah, it's like that's what that's a song you used to have me hype. Man, I used to yeah. be in the mirror like performing that song <laughs> yeah. with my brother's can go on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> man, yeah, that uh, radio album had me going for real. Yeah, radio was hard, but definitely. I had to go when I'm bad, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm bad. Yeah. Oh my God. That yeah, album, definitely. That, that, that. Could you do the, the that. whole, the dance and everything? <laughs> with, when on, that, remember when that oh, motherfucker would come on, oh, bro? Man, like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> they wasn't playing music videos. Like, you had to really real. catch that joint. You yeah. know? Yeah, Cool J was hard, though, for yeah. real. Comes around, karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.